coach Dave Petromala, sophomore at Nicole Williams. Dave, just a quick opening statement, and we'll take a few questions. Yeah, you know, uh, it's a great win. Um, you know, I give uh, Ohio State a lot of credit, a little undermanned. Um, you know, and I felt like coming into the game, this was a game where they had to have it. Um, you know, four in a row for them, and you know, a tough game last week, which in which I thought they really in the first half had some real good opportunities, uh, and just were not able to, to get by uh, Colby Nice. Um, you know, we felt like coming into the game, we would get their best, and I thought we did. Um, you know, at the face-off X, uh, they were excellent. We were uh, very subpar um, two, week, two weeks in a row where we've not either done the job at the X, and when they're popping forward, that's our guys at the X, and, you know, when it's a loose ball, more times than not, it's our guys on the wings, and I didn't think we did a great job there. Um, I thought we buckled down a little bit defensively in the second half and actually got a couple of timer-ons and, and got stops. And I thought uh, the man down was very, uh, very good today. Very good today. And uh, I thought a big game changer was when we went two men down and uh, we got a stop. Uh, I thought that was a big game changer. So, uh, you know, a good win. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased that we're winning. I think we still have a lot of work to do. I think we're still a work in progress. But I was happy that we actually started fast today. We hadn't started fast in two games, three games, and today we came out and built the lead and just thought we made some poor decisions early defensively and let back in. And as we all know, time is money. That's where our fully managed approach to IT can help. With proactive remote monitoring and management, we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24-7, 365 days a year. And when a problem does arise, our technical experts can quickly resolve it, in many cases before you're even aware that there was a problem at all. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. I was really impressed with Colwell on the Claire. Did you think maybe going with Foley on him? What did you think of Colwell overall? Uh, you know what? <laughs> I, I, no one's more critical of Johns Hopkins' defense than yours truly. You know, and uh, I don't look at things as how many goals. I look at how many opportunities or how many things were available that maybe they missed. And you know, I still think we have a lot of growth to do. I thought Owen was good and clear. Um, you know, I thought uh, we gave Owen a tough assignment. That kid's good. He can play the game. He can shoot it. Um, you know, I don't think LeClaire's goals were on Owen. You know, one time he gets the, his first one's on a, 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 in transition. We didn't want to come off of him, and we did. That was Owen's mistake. But you defend a guy like Trey LeClaire, not with Owen Cole. You defend Trey LeClaire with the, Owen Cole and the five other guys. And that's the way you defend a player like that. Um, you know, and I know he walks away with three goals, but two of them aren't too late in the game, so I thought we kept them under control for the majority of the game, and that's a good job by the group. <coughs> Dave, what's been the key for you guys in your winning streak here? Mike, I don't, I don't, I don't believe in streaks. I'm, uh, the only streak I care about is one game streaks, if you want to talk about streaks. And, you know, I think we've been, we've shown toughness. I think we've shown a quality that you know, I'm not sure we showed it a lot last year. Um, you know, when, when, when Ohio State starts to make a little run, the things that are being said in the huddles by the guys, the things that are being said by the sideline are the right things. You know, it's okay, let's just get the next one. You know, let's not open, let's not panic, let's, let, let's just keep doing. There's not a lot of doubt um, in the guys. They're confident, and, you know, we've been in this situation a couple times where, Either we've been down or a team starts to come back, and we've handled it. And I think a lot of that comes to our, comes back to our culture statement, our culture creed. And it's, it's out in front of our locker room. Um, and resilient, resiliency is one of the main words in that culture creed. And I think we've been really resilient during this, you know, week-to-week -week thing. There's a lot of that, Cole. It feels like the last three weeks in particular, that's something that's been pretty necessary. Has that been something that's really come along over these last three weeks? Absolutely. Um, the first half of the past two games, we've had some struggles on offense. 
uh, creating shots um, and just putting them on cage. So when we really focus on our resilience and just making sure that we know we're getting in good spots, we just got to bury them. And uh, typically that's been happening in the second second half. Um, it was nice that this game we started off in the first half putting putting some in the cage, but uh, and just building off that going into the second half too. Did you talk about his development from last year, this year, to from first half of the season to right now? Yeah, you know, I, 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 I think the sky's the limit. I, I really do. Um, you know, I don't like to, um, you know, talk about individuals a lot. It's a team game, um, you know, but clearly you're seeing a different player than one year before. You know, I think a lot of that comes back to the summer. I think it comes back to his time with Jay Dyer uh, and the program that he's worked on. He's stronger. He's more physical off the dodge. Um, you know, and my hope, quite frankly, is he goes home this summer and he finds 10, 15 more pounds of muscle because I think that's there. You know, we text back and forth quite a bit. And, uh, you know, if it's a tough day of practice or a, a good game, whatever, it's, it, it's about what's in front of him. And I think there's a, 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 a still a lot of untapped potential that, 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 that's playing for us right now. And, uh, you know, he's a bear to go against in practice, and clearly he's been, uh, he, he makes things a little bit easier on the other guys because now teams have to be concerned with sliding to us. And a year ago, teams weren't sliding to our attack. Now they have to. That creates opportunities for guys like Shaq, who a lot of his stuff is unnoticed. And it's unnoticed because it may not be the pass to go, it may be the second pass. Um, but a lot of that comes to, to Cole's ability to, to command attention. Dave, can you also touch on Rock and just uh, <clears throat> certainly the defense overall did some things to help create some of those turnovers, late, but he stepped in and made at least two. Like, mm -hmm. It's what he's supposed to do, though. Yeah. You know, what we're here last year. Well, the he, there, there is no comparison to last year. Yeah. Last year's last year, and this guy is not the same guy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he spent the summer working hard. Um, you know, you know, being there, there's two places that at Johns Hopkins is not easy. One is being the head coach, and the other is being the goalie. You know, and it's no different than being a quarterback at USC or a point guard at Duke, I mean, all, all on a relative scale. Um, you know, being a quarterback of a pro NFL team, that's the position that everybody looks at. And when a couple go in that shouldn't, uh, everybody's on that guy. But when a couple are stopped, that shouldn't be stopped. My buddy tells that guy how great he is. I think what we've gotten from Brock is consistency. That has been a, a word that we've been unable to use in the past. And, you know, spent the summer on a speed bag. Larry Quinn's done a great job with him. Um, you know, we've changed kind of how we warm him up a little bit. Coach Benson warms him up, and then we have a shooter. One of the guys shoot on him. And, you know, I think the sand in the hourglass is running out. Brock took last year extraordinarily personally. I can't imagine he's forgotten the things that were written about him, things that were said about him, and he has come back and he has been uh, very consistent, very solid, and for us to be successful moving forward, he needs to be. Is part of that figure, part of the equation, the psyche, the, the place where he is now, where a couple do slip by, he's not looking over. No doubt. Is no. anybody warming me up, warming up to come in for me? No question. We've made it clear that he's the guy. And we're confident in, in, in our younger kid. He's a good player. We're confident in him. But, um, you know, it, I, I think we're playing better defense in front of him this year. I can damn well tell you that. That's the case. We've been better at the X this year, with the exception of maybe, you know, the last game and a half or two games. Uh, we've been better there. So while we're better in those two places, you know, it makes his job a little bit easier. He's not getting shelled with 45, 50 shots. And he's been very, very consistent. And I think he's playing with great confidence. Can you feel the rise up the poles on campus? People get fired up more so about you guys than usual? I can't tell you. I don't pay attention. <coughs> I got my nose in a, in, in, in a television and in, in film. So I couldn't speak to that. I'd say so. Um... Especially just with our winning streak, um, it's just it's just another vibe on, on campus. Is that all across the walking around, um, they're doing well, and uh, let's, let's cheer them on. And it, it, we, we greatly appreciate it. Um, it's just nice 
for those people to be around in our community to be on our side. And uh, so, yeah. Coach, you talked a little bit about your offseason. What did you do? Yeah, he's um, a lot of credit to Jay Dyer. Um, he's got a great conditioning program, great strength program, and I just stuck to it. Um, a lot of being a Baltimore guy, I can be on campus. Uh, I'm not too far away, so I can get my shooting, extra shooting around on um, Hawkins or on Homewood. So it's just nice being a local guy, um, having people I can shoot with, um, just my friends from that go to other colleges. Or so yeah. So what exactly did you work on besides shooting? Anything else that? Maybe you talked with Dave before you, you left after season and said, these are the things you need to get better. Absolutely. Um, mainly shooting with somebody on your hands. Um, often I'm playing, the way I dodge, there's going to be guys in my hands, there's going to be sticks in the lane. And uh, so just make, focusing on that, getting shots off with a guy draped all over you. So, Mike, I would add to that confidence is a big word. You know, everybody thinks when you're six foot five, and you're, you know, 200 and some pounds, you're a confident kid. And, you know, something I didn't realize, I realized until we, we chatted a little bit was, you know, that's something a year ago Cole struggled with. You know, and there were moments where we thought he would pull the trigger and wished he would pull the trigger and didn't. And this year, <laughs> I don't think there's much of a, much of a hesitation. Wish he shot the ball overhand a little bit more. <laughs> but nonetheless, I don't think there's any hesitation and confidence comes from demonstrated ability. It doesn't from, come from a coach saying, hey, you're doing a great job. These guys know if they're doing a good job or not. And Cole has demonstrated the ability to do it, and I think that's really been a big part of the improvement he's made is because there's a higher level of confidence than one year ago. Any other questions? Okay, thank you. Yeah.